Hello and welcome. Happy New Year. Uh, we hope you had a really nice Christmas holiday, relaxing. We are back in 2022 and today I wanted to talk to you about what's happening in the next six months regarding trade fairs. Trade fairs are very, very, very important um, concept because that's the place when you go to see new ideas, to talk to suppliers, to see what's going on with the market, with new trends, new ideas new concepts, everything. If you want to be up to date, you must go to these fairs. We actually visit almost all the fairs that I'm going to show you today as part of our job as a buying agent. So we must follow the trends to know what's going on in the market. So when we speak to a client, we know that we're going the right direction or it's been done a few years ago. So what we prepared for you today, if you can show on this whiteboard, is the trade fair for 2022 that I took here the most important fairs that I personally visit and know that they are good. There's really so many fairs all over the world, but it really depends on your industry. Now, if you are in the souvenirs, promotion products, gifts, accessory, anything that has to do with trends about young, relatively products, products that are a bit more trendy, these are the fairs you should visit. Now, I will start. Beginning of the year, we have in Nuremberg, Germany, from the 2nd to the 6th of February, the Toy Fair. What you can find in the Toy Fair, hobby, video games, toys, accessories, okay? It is a very good fair. I wouldn't say mind-blowing because it's the same fair that you can find somewhere else in Asia, but we'll get to that later on. Second fair, the Spring Fair in Birmingham. It's a big fair. It's also twice a year, around the February and in October. It starts from the 69th of February in the UK and what you can find is home gifts, fashion and design and consumer goods. Third fair is Ambiente in Frankfurt. I love this fair. It's a very very good fair. It's very big so you need to give yourself at least two or three days to see it because there's a lot of information. You don't want to be overwhelmed after one day and flying back in the evening because you're going to come back with a blackout. You're not going to remember anything. Trust me. So, in this fair, you have consumer goods, you have living, you have gifts, souvenirs, gadgets, design, furniture, you can find everything. Now, the fairs in Europe normally are for wholesalers that have their stock. So, they're trying to look for people that are going to purchase their products. If you have a shop or a chain shop, that's the place when you go and look for new ideas. Ambiente Fair, very recommended. Then we're going into April. In April, we have the promotional products industry, PSI fair in Düsseldorf. This fair is normally in the beginning of January, but due to COVID this year, it was shipped to uh, postponed to April. In this fair, we're gonna exhibit uh, Silver Spot Trading, so you can come and to check out our buying services agent and discuss with us in about any products that you want to manufacture. We will be happy to hear face to face in April 26 in Düsseldorf in Germany. Uh, however, this is a B2B fair. So if you're not part of the promotional industry 100%, there's no chance for you to get inside. It's a really, really selective fair, only business to business. So between manufacturers to promotion products agencies. If you're not from this industry, don't bother. You can't get in. Uh, another fair, now we're moving into Asia. In Asia, we have two big places that they are fairs. We have, first of all, the biggest fair in the world. It's called the Import-Export Fair, Canton Fair, okay? Canton Fair, it's a three weeks fair. And it's divided to three phases, phase one, phase two, and phase three. What you see from is the exactly showing, we will show now. So, first of all, it's in Guangzhou, in China. To be able to go to China, you have to get a visa and you have to get a special card or registration. When, it comes, when we come around April, before I will post another video so you can see exactly how to do that. But uh, this fair is the first phase, is between 15 to 19 of April. And what does it says? The first fair is, uh, the first phase is machinery. Everything that has to do with machinery, packing machinery, sticker machinery, all kind of machinery for all kind of industries is the first phase, okay? Now, after this fair is finished, the first phase, people go out and people come in. Then there's going to be the second fair, which is my favorite part because it's quite general. It's got a lot of different fairs. It's around 27 halls, that in each hall there's the pro approximately around 1,000 exhibitors. It is huge. You will need a week to see just this 
fair because you need to come a day before, prepare the plan, and you will probably live a day after. Take your time, and I'm talking about full gas. These few days is really going to be intense for you to get all the information. If you think that the ambient fair is big, this is biggest, okay? Seriously, I've never been to a bigger fair. Now, in the second fair, what you can find is gifts, souvenirs, consumer goods, decoration, garden, suitcase, optics, you name it, you find it. The whole world is for sale in this fair. The third phase of the fair, which is a bit less interesting, but it really depends on your industry. It's actually office stationery, medical equipment, sport and travel. I would say that medical equipment is going to be a very <laughs> new trend now for all the companies who want to sell these uh, solutions for COVID. After this fair is finished in April, you can go directly to Hong Kong, take the fast train and go to Hong Kong from Guangzhou because it's going to be in Guangzhou, in Canton province. And here we have the gift and premium fair in Hong Kong, 27 to 30 of April. What you're going to find over there is also stationery, mainly gifts, souvenirs, smoking accessories. The funny thing is, when you visit these two fairs, yeah, the Hong Kong and China, these were all the exhibitors that exhibited me this. In each one of these exhibitions, these guys are going to do their shopping over here. So if you see any trend in this fair, guess what? Six months later, you're going to find it back in Europe, in Nuremberg, in Birmingham, in Frankfurt, in all these places that the people are importing from China and then exhibiting to shops. Because if you just have a shop, you cannot just go to China and say, yeah, I want 200 pieces. They're not going to sell you. You don't reach the MOQ. You will need an importer or a distributor that is have the stock in Europe so you can order small quantity and check it out. But if you're a big importer, that's the place for you to go. I will post another one in the future. I hope it was a valuable information for you. And these are just the six months, the first six months of the year. There is plenty more fairs to visit with tobacco fairs and stuff, but it really depends on the industry. Don't just go and visit any fair. Try to be a bit more specific to see what is your industry. Afterwards, you see what's there. Then you can go and visit other fairs to get some new ideas. If you need any help, because we're visiting these things as we're working as a buying agent. If you need any help or you have any comments, you have any thoughts about going to China, you need some advice, or where can I get tickets for this, or how can I do that? We will support you with whatever we can as part of our service. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day and a good start for this year. Take care. Bye.